Hello and welcome to StarCraft. My name is Pig and I'm here with yet another video helping you learn and improve versus mode. Today we're going to be talking about how to win in versus, how to go from being overwhelmed by the many choices you have in a game to focusing on the core things to get some wins, get some confidence and start developing your play. So what we're going to focus on is giving you a nice rhythm for building up a good economy and army in the early game, how to focus on the key things and start to automate certain tasks so as you get more experience you don't have to spend as much time weighed down with the fundamentals of just spending your money. And lastly we're going to talk about when to assert control over a match, shift into the aggression and learn how to assault your opponent and finish the game off. So let's launch into game here and we are going to of course look at me playing a Protoss versus Zerg against AI, but this could be applied to any race. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is spending your money the moment you get it. You're gonna notice here, as soon as I get money, I'm spending it. Automatically queuing up these probes as soon as I get 50 minerals. Dropping that gas as soon as I have the 75 minerals for the assimilator. The key thing to think about here is that it's important to spend your money the moment you get it. You've gotta make use of your money faster than your opponent. Because if you let your money sit around, your opponent's already turning that into more probes, more gateways, more fighting units. You're just gonna be behind whether it's an army or economy. So having a sense of urgency around allocating your resources is one of these fundamental skills you want to develop early on as a StarCraft player. Spend your money as soon as it comes in, as we see here, sending this worker to the expansion well before I have the 400 minerals. So the moment I have 400 minerals there, bam, that nexus goes down immediately. One of the most jolting experiences as a new player is when you face off against someone who's more experienced and when they come across the map, their army is about 12 times bigger than yours and the game just seems absolutely hopeless and you can't possibly fathom how your opponent has so much more stuff than you. That's what we're going to try and help you out with here and that's by focusing you on the fundamentals of building up a good economy and converting that into a strong army. So what you need to focus on before anything else is constant worker production with no breaks in the early game. So always be queuing up more workers. Next up, it's always use the production facilities you've got. Don't just let your barracks or your gateways just sit there. Make sure they're always building units whenever you've got the money. And lastly, make sure you don't get supply blocks. So constantly be building overlords, pylons, or supply depots to make sure you don't hit those supply blocks. Now, that's easily said, it's harder to actually put into practice. As a new player, it's really hard to remember to do all of these things consistently. So we have a really powerful technique to help you remember this. It's called the macro cycle. Now, the macro cycle is where you basically say, look, these tasks don't change. No matter what strategy I'm going for, I always need to build workers build army units, and build supply structures. And I need to do it consistently. So what I can do is I can actually form those into a cycle which I build as an automatic habit every game, no matter what's going on. So every 30 seconds, we do a macro cycle. And in a tight set of actions, we go queue up a couple of workers per base, add some more army units to our production to be building, and add pylons, depots, or overlords. And you just do that every 30 seconds. And what you do as you practice it, as it becomes automated, is that just happens easily. It's easy to remember because you do it every single game and it allows your practice to compound and you get faster and more efficient at it. So you can spend a lot more time thinking about your strategy, your special upgrades and buildings you need for that specific style you're playing. And you're spending less time weighed down with the basic fundamentals of just spending your money and building up. Whilst a lot of players do start getting quite good at the macro cycle, there is a common thing players start to mess up very quickly. As they get better at building up their economy, building units constantly, they get supply blocked a lot. And you think this shouldn't happen because, I mean, if we hop in game, you think, okay, what aren't you building pylons or overlords every time you go through this macro cycle? You are. The problem players have is because their economy and production build so fast, they're not always keeping up their supply production and ramping it up at a fast enough pace. So what I mean by that is at the start of the game, you might just have one hatchery or one gateway building units, one or two nexus building probes. Just building one pylon every 30 seconds is going to be fine. But we see at this point so many gateways going down, so many robos. You're going to be warping in so many units every 30 second cycle. So it's important for you to start building not just one or two pylons, but five or six pylons during every single cycle to make sure you never get supply blocked. So as your economy and production builds, build more and more supply to keep up. All right, so we've talked a lot about the macro side of the game, building lots of workers, spending our money as quickly as possible, making sure we're constantly producing, building supply to make sure we keep up and don't get blocked. 
But what about actually attacking and taking control? How do I go and defeat my opponent? A lot of players start getting good at the spending money aside, but they never really learn how to assert themselves and they end up sitting back in their corner of the map feeling like they don't know what's going on and often being surprised and losing games where they were actually far ahead. One of the biggest things that you can do as a player is follow this simple tip I've taught many, many players to great success. And it is to just get out on the map and attack with a pre-planned assault. Let's go in this game, hopping back in here and take a look. So what was the pre-planned assault? In this game, it was always from before the game started to build a few immortals, a lot of adepts with the adept upgrade, and then just make as many units as possible. So I've stopped at two bases full of workers, and that is where I recommend you guys stop, no matter what your race is when you're starting out, two bases of workers, you rush up to that economy, and then we shift our focus. We take the worker production out of our macro cycle, and all we're doing is building pylons, building army units, and trying to take down our opponent. Now, no matter what composition you're using, what your army is, what your style, make sure you commit decisively to this attack and try to improve every game and find a way to get better and better at it. What this does is it gives you a direction to assert control, attack your opponent, and it's so effective because it says, this is my goal, move across the map at this exact timing, get over there and try to finish off my opponent. And this immediately gets you to have something you can benchmark because you can look at the game timer and say, hey, I hit with 150 supply 10 minutes into the game, awesome. But after a week of practicing, you might find you can hit with the same amount of supply 30 seconds faster and you know already you're improving so much. But not just that, you learn how to attack different positions better, how to control your army better, and it just gives you a preset point to take control of the map. This is so important because it allows you to make sure you're pushing your advantages, you're pressing it against your opponents, and you're trying to win your games off the back of all of these fundamental skills you're developing. All right, guys, well, that about rounds us up for today's video. I hope you're leaving today with a good idea of what the key things are to focus on to get to that next level on the ladder and really start enjoying the guts of StarCraft. If you guys want to learn more about this beautiful game, do check out the rest of the Welcome to StarCraft playlist on YouTube, and feel free to drop by my Twitch channel, x5 underscore pig, or pig StarCraft on YouTube. That's all for now, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and good night.